Hey everybody, it's me, Jake Red Cream, and today I have another Beyblade unboxing video. Today's unboxing is from the newest, oh, two of the newest waves, yeah, of Haze H3. Now, I've been wanting to get this for a while. In fact, I have three of its random booster on my Christmas wish list, so hopefully I can actually get the Japanese version too. Anyways, uh, this is kind of a quick little video. My mom let me pick out some Beyblades that I want and she'd have make sure that she got those for me by Christmas hopefully so that way she knows she'll get ones that I want and not just any old Beyblade. So yeah I got nine different ones picked out like the Geist Fafnir dual pack from Hasbro, Tur Turbo Spryzen was in the store, Turbo Veltriac, the ah oh, what is it? Can't remember. Orb and Guard. Yeah, the dual pack of that's out, too. There are so many at Target right now. Like, seriously, I just got a bunch of new ones just waiting for Christmas. But since I had enough allowance money left over, my mom let me pick out one that I could buy today. And today, I chose Hades because, you know, he rocks. And also, it's unlike your other Turbo Base, it has metal, just like Breaker Excalius. Yeah two metal scythes. All this is plastic because Hasbro doesn't want to make it too good for the competitive meta, which is understandable. And also, no dash driver because, you know, Hasbro slopes wouldn't work very good with those. It would just break them. So yeah, we got regular Zephyr. We actually got the turn frame, which is nice. We get our, a little bit of metal on our contact point, which at least Hasbro did that, and I give them props for that. And also, if you look closely, they put some sparkles in our turn frame. I don't know why, but I love it. <laughs> so yeah, anyways, for our stats, we have 6 for attack, 6 for weight, 5 for stamina, 6 for defense, 4 for agility, and 1 for burst. And if you're wondering what the technical names for the parts are, for 11 turn we have DR56, and for the performance tip, Zephyr is TB02. Yeah, and it's not a slingshot top, it's actually a switch strike. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. Hasbro gave us that. But the switch strike abilities don't really have to do with anything of the of actual abilities. Yeah, metal heavyweight exterior. Yeah, and what is it making contact? Not the metal, just that turn frame here. And what is it for the turn frame? No, nothing about the turn frame. It just has hollow balance stabilizer which is referring to the Zephyr, Ze Zephyr driver. So, um, Hasbro, you could do better. You could have at least tried to do a little better on it. But I mean, I'll take what I can get. Besides, Hades still a pretty good balance type. In fact, in the, in the um, game, the Beyblade Burst video game, Hades is actually, due to its stats, considered an attack type with its stock combo, so where did you go wrong, Hasbro? It says it's a balance type on the box. It has a balance type driver, metal disc, and frame. So where did you go wrong? I don't understand why Hasbro, or how Hasbro did that, but they did that. Yeah. So anyways, now that we got our new, or old launcher record stuff here. Yeah, I'm going to be donating it to the library, as I always do, for a favorite club. And our Zephyr is actually pretty weak on the spring. Oh, my God. Fell on the floor. Yeah, we got a pretty weak spring on our Zephyr, so I'm hoping Hades' lair will do better. So, yeah, the full name of this is Dread Hades in anime, where it has two uh, two modes. One is where the frame is has the spikes facing opposite to the way it's spinning, like this, where it's rounded more for defense. But the ability with it is you can take it off and flip the frame, yes, flip, and now it's facing the attack point, so now it's in attack mode. Yeah, that's the only thing that really makes it a balance type, I think. That, and apparently the driver is considered a balance driver, even though it's pretty much attack all the way. But I get it, because it's lower speed. And yeah, sadly they didn't put metal in the, in the center of Hades. I really like they at least did that too. But I mean, still, they put any metal, which is good. So yeah. Also, it might not sound the best, that's because it's pretty cold out here in my state right now of the US. <laughs> yeah, can't specify for privacy reasons. 
and I'm sorry about my upload schedule not being so good anymore. I used to be really big on my channel for making, I made a lot of videos every so often, but due to the Christmas time, I've had to wait and not be able to buy as many Beyblades. So expect after Christmas a big bunch of unboxing videos. Hasbro, Takarotomi, dual packs, single packs, customized set, hopefully. And I've also gotten into a new hobby of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. And yeah, I'm not doing that on the channel because it's one of the few things I don't have to wait and anticipate doing. Like I've waited for like hours in order to get this Hades opened. But I had to wait because my channel. So Yu-Gi-Oh is gonna be an off-camera thing for me. Yes, Hades is opening. How did it get stuck there, the plastic piece? There we go. So yeah. Hades H3, everybody. We got one metal scythe and two metal scythe. And it's not painted like the other two because apparently Hasbro doesn't paint metal or tattoo it or whatever they use. So yeah, we got two metal scythes here. Looks pretty cool. And I already have it downloaded in the app, but in case for those who don't, here's the QR code, everybody. So yeah, pretty cool. Now I'm going to try putting it together and see just how tight it is. Oh, the slopes are actually pretty good. Like, uh, maximum, better than maximum Garuda. The thing is still decently heavy for the lack of all that metal. Yeah, I'm spinning it on my table right now. Yeah, I'm doing this at a table, as you can see, with it propped against my laptop. So yeah, Dead Hades, pretty nice bay, or Dread Hades, sorry. Dead Hades is the Japanese name. And the weird thing is, it's not really, like, it looks unbalanced, but it really is pretty balanced. Yeah, I'm not sure why, even though those two blades make it really unbalanced looking. It is really balanced, well. So yeah, it's pretty tight lo slopes, uh, pretty nice design, looks anime accurate, pretty much. I like the hexagon design. They did good on that. Except for these two blades, which are really shiny because of, you know, metal. On like these two and these two. So yeah, not really much of a balance. I don't see much defense in it. I just see offense. I mean, look at that shape. Does that look defensive at all? I mean, I guess you could pass it off as balance, yeah, but definitely not much defense in that design. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, Dread Hades. Pretty good Beyblade. Slow, sorry, tight. Okay, let me show you again the turn frame ability. So yeah, right now it's in attack mode, as you can see. The blade's facing the way it spins. But if I flip the frame again, it will turn into defense now. Now it could do its Dread Gravity move, where it knocks the Beyblade around. Or there's the Dread Impulse for its attack. And pretty simple. The frame doesn't want us work quite right. Okay, so yeah, now we have defense, which to be honest, due to all these little spiky bits, there's no really life after death for it. And Zephyr, I mean, you know Zephyr. It's good for stamina, for its, it's good for a controlled attack. It has pretty good stamina on it. Uh, 9 out of 10 would recommend it. If you're starting Beyblade and want a really good balance type, this is the way to go, if you can actually find it. A lot smaller than I thought for some reason, like, maybe it's just my hands are huge. Yeah, really small, out of the box. Anyways, yeah, sorry I'm really tired, I'm recording this at like 6 or 7ish at night, and I just came in from loading a bunch of groceries back into the house, so... I'm really tired. Now I'm going to look at the instructions. I mean, nobody needs them, but I'm just going to see if they actually specify on the frame ability or if it's just their average, because I want to see if Hasbro took that into consideration. Let's see. This side, the bread, or instruction on the other side. Yeah, it shows you can actually flip it. <laughs> Hasbro actually took the time to do that. Look. Shows that right here. Oh, here. Oh, crud. Here. 
yeah, it says here, um, side A and side B for it. But yeah, not defense or attack, just side A, side B. Great job, Hasbro. Yeet. Ow. Okay, I'm gonna need that probably. I'm just kidding. Who needs the instructions for Beyblade? Only new players would need it. Anyone else doesn't really need that. So anyways, thank you all so much for watching this video. I am really tired and I'm going to go enjoy Hades and watch YouTube. Goodbye.